staying with us, taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Sky Cam. We've got some cloudy skies now. We saw sunshine for much of the morning, but an area of cloudiness has moved on in. And we could see a very light flurry or two as we head through this afternoon, but the better chance of that looked to be well south. Current temperature 4. It feels more like minus 16. Those winds out of the south at 18 miles per hour. They'll continue out of the south today. 10 to 20 miles per hour with some gusts as high as 30 to 35 miles per hour. 7 in Thief River Falls. Also 7 in Roseau, Bemidji, Wadena. And also 7, a lucky 7, over in the Devil's Lake area. You factor in those winds and that's making it feel quite a bit colder out there. So despite the fact that we're seeing some milder temperatures, it's still rather cold, dangerously cold if you're out there for any length of time. Minus 20 in Grand Forks, 12 below in Thief River Falls, 5 below in Detroit Lakes, and minus 15 in Fergus Falls. There is that area of cloudiness that continues to slide off toward the east and northeast. Also some high clouds skirting the far northern valley. Underneath these clouds, not a whole lot showing up on the radar until you get down into portions of South Dakota. And again, could see some very light flurries in about the southern half of the area. The better chance for maybe a couple of light snow showers in the far southern portions of the area. In the southeastern counties as we head through this afternoon and this evening. Could see some very minor accumulations in this area with the very cold cloud temperature or ground temperatures as this weak system skirts on by. Outside of that, much of the country relatively quiet. A little bit of snow in the Rocky Mountains, some rain down in Arizona and off towards the east, pretty quiet. Just a few chances of uh, showers, some rain showers in Virginia, North Carolina and to South Carolina. As we head through the rest of the day today, we're going to continue to see those temperatures slowly warm on up but the the wind is going to be around for much of the day. So we're going to see temperatures, wind chill temperatures below zero as we head through the rest of this afternoon and this evening. Again, a chance for a light flurry, primarily in the southern half of the area, and a better chance for maybe some light snow showers in the far south. As we head through the overnight hours tonight, another cold night, not as cold as the past several nights. Most areas should stay above zero as we head towards tomorrow morning, and winds will become a lot less. They'll decrease as we head through the overnight hours for around 5 to 10 miles per hour. They'll pick up just a bit tomorrow. We'll see a lot of cloud cover once again as we head through the day tomorrow. And this time, the Northern Valley has a chance for some flurries and some snow showers. And again, could see some very light accumulations as this system slides on by as we head through tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. And look at those temperatures warming well into the teens and the 20s. Wind chills will even stay above zero as we head through the day on your Wednesday. Over the next seven days, here's how it looks today. A cold one. It'll certainly feel cold despite getting up to around 10 degrees with those breezes around tomorrow. That chance for a little bit of snow in the north with temperatures in the 20s. And we'll continue with temperatures in the 20s and low 30s as we wrap up the week and head through the weekend. And right now, a couple of slight chances of snow Saturday and again late Sunday and on into Monday. At this point, does not look like any major snowstorms, but... Mm -hmm at times could see enough to create some slick spots on the roads. I'm just looking forward to that warm up that you it's guys It's going are to saying. feel very warm tomorrow. <laughs> I know. Winds we'll break out our point. swimsuits and go tanning. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Robert. Mm -hmm.